This is Jamie Baxley, reporter for North Carolina Health News. And in this video, I'll be talking about the unwinding of the continuous coverage provision for Medicaid. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Medicaid participants didn't have to worry about losing their health insurance. They were protected by the continuous coverage requirement, a federal provision that prevented states from kicking beneficiaries off the rolls. The provision recently expired, allowing North Carolina to resume disenrollments for the first time in more than three years. State officials estimate that as many as 300,000 residents could be disenrolled from Medicaid in the coming months. The purge is expected to mostly affect individuals who no longer qualify for coverage, either because their income exceeds the state's current limit for Medicaid or because they began receiving benefits as a child and have aged out of eligibility. But many residents who continue to meet all the eligibility requirements for Medicaid could also end up losing coverage. More than 35,000 North Carolinians were disenrolled from Medicaid in June, and only 15% of those terminations involved people who were actually determined to no longer qualify for the program. The vast majority were disenrolled for, quote, procedural reasons. According to the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, procedural disenrollments occur when a Medicaid participant's caseworker needs information from them to complete their recertification but is unable to reach them or the information requested has not been provided. In other words, people who continue to qualify for Medicaid are at risk of losing coverage simply because the state does not have their current mailing address or phone number. Experts say the high percentage of procedural disenrollments in North Carolina is cause for concern. Uh, a large share of people who are procedurally disenrolled actually remain eligible. The higher the number of procedural disenrollment, um, the more concern that we have that people are losing coverage in a appropriate rate. The state will be conducting eligibility reviews through March of next year. People can avoid being dropped from Medicaid for procedural reasons by making sure their local social services office has their current contact information on file. That's it for now. Be sure to visit NorthCarolinaHealthNews.org for the latest updates on the Medicaid unwinding.